Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. First off, I'd like to start by thanking the 1000 viewers who watched my previous um, video where I unboxed the Sharpstar Z4 and set it up. In this video, I'd like to share my results from First Light, um, but before I do that, I'd just like to run through the final configuration before I got to First Light. Starting from the right hand side, I've got a ZWO ASI 2600mm Pro and this is an Astro cooled camera. I then have some 3D printed parts attached to the camera to help the cables stay down the bottom and ensure I don't get any cables snagging. After the camera, I then have a ZWO electronic filter wheel and this is a 7 position filter wheel loaded with 36 millimeter chroma filters. Um, it's the full set LRGB and SHO filters. Um, and then after the filter wheel, I have a few spacers as well as a tilter to help correct um, the field flatness. Um, so far, I've not had to make any adjustments and this is a, a first set of results just to show you what I got from the telescope and how flat the field is. After the tilter, I have a combo um, a Zato 2 inch and Arco 2 inch rotator. Um, so, this is the focuser rotator combination, um, and this helps me focus the telescope during the night um, session. And the rotator helps me frame the targets that I want to capture in the way that I want to. To frame them. Um, and then I have a custom built uh, adapter and this was made by Telescope Express that allows me to attach um, the Primalucci Lab as Zato to the Sharpstar Z4. Everything else is the same from my previous video apart from the bottom Lasmandi dovetail plate. Um, I needed a longer plate just to ensure I could balance the rig um, on the mount. Um, I will run through how I capture flats using the Giotto or Giotto um, flat field generator from Prima Luci Lab, but in this video, really just want to take the opportunity to show you what this small telescope, in relative terms, is capable of. Let's get into it. The target I picked for first light is the Rosette Nebula. Uh, before I start to process uh, my images, I like to go through each individual sub just to see what's actually going on. Um, on this target, I shot um, HA, O3, and S2, um, three minutes each. And I shot a sequence of 12 images um, in HA, O3, and S2, and then shot 30 seconds. Um, for red, green, and blue, and captured 20 of each in that channel. Okay, so now I'm in Astral Pixel Processor, and here I'm just showing the fact that I've got 96 lights um, and the calibration frames, so darks, flats, and bias frames. Um, at this stage, I've already um, stacked the images, and I'll now cross over into PixInsight um, for time and um, show you what results I got. <laughs> 